Alrighty, let's just do a quick example showing in this first case the um, natural response or the decaying of a voltage on a capacitor. So we're going to start out with a capacitor here, the switch at T equals zero it closes, and the resistive path for this capacitor to discharge through. This is a 10 microfarad capacitor. This is a 30 kilo ohm resistor. And um, we are just given that the initial voltage on here, the voltage across the capacitor is a function of time like that, plus to minus, and we'll go ahead and just reference the current at this point also. I'm referencing the current in its passive way, in a passive reference, so that the current is referenced going from the positive to negative uh, reference on the capacitor's voltage. And we are told that the voltage on the capacitor right before it switches is equal to 5 volts. And we know that we can't instantaneously change the voltage on the capacitor, thus the voltage right after it switches, just the instant on the, pos on the plus side of 0, is going to be 5 volts. And that, of course, is our initial voltage. That's the voltage that the capacitor starts to discharge from. And current will flow, and we know that the actual current is going to be flowing in that direction from the capacitor through the resistor to ground. Even though we've referenced the current like this, the, the charge is going to be flowing in that direction. And there will be current flowing as long as there is a voltage on the capacitor. As long as there's a voltage on the capacitor, there will be a voltage across that resistor also causing current to flow until there is no voltage or V final equals zero volts. Tau is equal to R times C, which in this case is 30 times 10 to the third times C, which is 10 times 10 to the minus sixth, equals 300 times 10 to the minus third, or 0.3 seconds. So, we know that the voltage across the capacitor as a function of time is equal to the final voltage plus the initial minus E final, E to the minus T over tau. So we now just plug in the numbers. V final is zero plus the initial of five volts minus the final voltage is zero. E to the minus T divided by 0.3, which equals five E to the minus T over 0.3. And we can graph that. It starts at t equal at t equals zero. It starts at five volts. It approaches zero volts asymptotically, and we're going to just kind of sketch it down here like that. And we know that out here at four tau, our tau is 0.3 seconds, so four times 0.3 is 1.2 seconds it will be within about 98 or 99 percent of the final value. And we can mark off the other tau's. This is one tau of 0 0.3, 0 0.6, 0 0.9. Not terribly well delineated, but you get the idea. So, the voltage on the capacitor starts at 5 volts. It decays exponentially towards zero. And that's the graph of the voltage across the capacitor as a function of time. What about the current associated with the capacitor as a function of time? Well, I is equal to C dV dt. C is equal to 10 times 10 to the minus 6th. Here's V of t, so the derivative of that is going to be the 5 times the derivative of the exponential function. Well, when you differentiate the exponential function, we kick out a negative 1 over 0.3 e to the minus t over 0.3. We got the calculator to do this. And we have 5 times 10 e, e minus 6 divided by 0.3 that equals, um, the constant out in front then is equal to 
negative, there is a minus sign, negative 1.7 times 10 to the minus fourth e to the negative t over 0.3 amps, or might be more inclined to write it as a negative 0.17 e to the minus t over 0.3 milliamps. Okay, what does that look like? Let's graph that thing. I'm going to do it in a different color here for the current. Now, notice the current is negative. It's negative because it's going in the opposite direction of our current definition. It's going in this direction, which we knew it would. I mean, this is the source of the charge. The capacitor is the source of the charge. It's flowing through the resistor to ground. But again, that's in the opposite direction of our passive reference that we gave it. So we're going to be starting down here at a negative, negative 0.17 milliamps. And it also is going to be decaying at the same time constant and approaching the axis with the same tau values.